When we follow agile software development practices, the requirements are organized into epics and stories. An epic is a huge chunk of our requirement. For example, if we are building a airline ticket reservation and passenger check-in application, then the two major epics will be ticket reservation and passenger check-in. Once we have these two epics, all the requirements can be put under stories under these two epics. For example, the ticket reservation will have create a reservation user story as well as cancel a reservation and many more. Similarly, the passenger check-in epic will have fetch the reservation so that the check-in process can be started. Allow the end user or the passenger to select seats for his flight and finally check him in to the flight. A story, when we define these stories, they should be independent of each other, testable and also when delivered should add some value to the end user. The developers and testers just by looking at the story should be able to provide an estimate of how long it's going to take to deliver those stories. The product owners or the business analysts are responsible for defining these epics and stories prior to the planning meeting, the sprint planning meeting so that we can pull in these stories into the sprint and start our work. They define these user stories, the requirements for the story as well as the acceptance criteria which is the criteria for them to accept the story as a deliverable unit at the end of the sprint when the developers and testers finish their work. This acceptance criteria could be few lines in English or we can follow the given, when, then format which is a very popular format that is used when we do behavior driven development. For example, given a PNR number or a airline reservation confirmation code when the passenger clicks the go button, then the reservation information should be fetched and displayed. That is how the acceptance criteria could be defined. And at the end of the sprint, once we as developers claim that we are done with our work, we demonstrate our work to the product owner or the business analyst, and they will look at this acceptance criteria and see whether we have delivered it when we showcase or demo demonstrate our work. These stories can be further broken down to the lowest level of work, which is tasks. For example, fetch the reservation story can be broken down by developers into tasks for them to work on a sprint or inside a sprint. This can be done. This task breakdown can be done during the sprint planning or during the sprint itself. Develop the PNR entry UI could be one task under the fetch the reservation story. Develop the backend module is the second task and finally write integration tests could be another task. So in this lecture you have learned that requirements are organized into epics, stories and tasks in the agile software development world.